introduction to the solar inverter in this part we are using 16 volts 3 amp battery and pick microcontroller rectifier step down transformer and lm2596 buck converter and also using a solar panel and here we can see this is also a rectifier so we can see there will be light indication it is taking the power from the solar panel so solar panel generating a small amount of uh, voltage due to low sunlight if it is facing a high sunlight then it will generate a more power that more power will be given to this battery so here we can see each battery have a forward with the 1.5 amp rating in a we connect batteries in series four batteries so 4444 is equal to 16 then 16 uh, so the 16 volts with the 1.5 amperes and also this battery is connected with the parallelly to this uh, battery in parallel uh, voltage will be same current will be added so 1.5 1.5 is a 3 ampere so th that's why it is a 16 amp sorry 16 volts 3 amp battery so this battery can be charged by the two types one is a solar panel based another is a transformer based so coming to transformer based so here we can see it is taking the 230 volts power supply from the input of this transformer and thus this uh, this transformer's secondary side it will step down up to 24 volts that will be given to this rectifier so rectifier converts ac to dc up to converted it will convert up to 24 volts of DC that 24 volts of DC will be given to this LM2596. So the main concept of this LM2596 LM or buck converter to step down the DC voltage because this is 16 volts 3 amp battery so that's why we need to step down up to uh, 16 volts so that uh, it will be, it will be step down up to 16 volts constant DC that constant DC will be given to this battery. So now I am giving the charging here. So we can see there will be light indication which means this battery is charging and also one root will be raised in mind that this is also rectified but why we are connected to the solar panel solar panel generally uh, generated dc power supply so we are giving uh, so we don't give direct connection to this battery because this battery have a higher potential so the voltage will be reverse current to this solar panel then the solar panel will be damaged to protect this solar panel we are using this rectifier in this rectifier we can see here there will be a diodes so diodes uh, allows forward voltage but doesn't allow reverse voltage so that's why we are uh, connecting this rectifier between the battery and the solar panel and coming to the inverter so here we can see this is the inverter so in this inverter we have four MOSFETs uh, two is a P type and uh, another two is a N type so the MOSFET will be triggered by this pick microcontroller and also these are the heat sinks for the inverter at the same time these are the this is the fan to cool down the inverter heat and now from here we are giving the gate pulses from the pick microcontroller so that gate pulses will be triggered by this uh, gates of the MOSFETs then it will be generate a, a uh, AC voltage that is so and also we are giving a battery so we know that inverter basically converts dc to ac so we are taking the input of dc here we have connected here and the, the output of this inverter is this one so it is a ac that ac will be given to this step up transformer so it is taking the uh, 12 volts input ac and it will be step up up to 120 volts uh, 130 volts with the 3 amp that will be given to this holder now i am giving the holder connection here so now when you switch on this power so we can see this motor will be work we can increase the and we can decrease the motor And also we can see when we off this one the fan also stops so in this way using the solar inverter we can control 
we can uh, use our dental cleaning machine so in this way this quiet will be works thanks for the watching